Good evening from London. Welcome to Piers Morgan Uncensored. It's almost four years now since Harry and Meghan made the groundbreaking announcement. They were quitting the royal family, stepping down as senior royals, moving to the United States and finding freedom. Well, since that moment, they've systematically and relentlessly exploited their existing royal status to make as much money as possible, while simultaneously trashing the royals and the monarchy to preserve their exposure and relevance. I think it's time we brought the Sussex Circus to a formal end. Conservative MP Bob Seeley is now introducing a bill in Parliament to strip them formally of their titles. The Duke and Duchess can be Mr and Mrs like the rest of us, he said. Someone doesn't want to be a royal. That's a decision we respect. They shouldn't keep the titles and privileges if they trash an institution that plays an important part in our nation's life. I think he's right. And as he also says, the baseless racism claims that have now embroiled the King and Princess of Wales, well, they should be the final straw, shouldn't they? The author behind those damning claims, who claims he wasn't the author behind those damning claims, but who else could he have been uh, the author of those damning claims, given it was in the manuscript of his own book in which these damning claims were made? Sussex lab dog Omid Scobie is still tying himself in the web of his own lies. Yeah, what a, what a series of events, right? Um, and what a frustrating experience for me for a book that was so heavily vetted, legaled, I's dotted, T's crossed, and a book that I was extremely proud of, now completely overshadowed by an event that has caused me a lot of frustration as well. We have a full investigation going on into this series of events that happened. Yeah, I know you're frustrated, buddy, but um, imagine how frustrated King Charles is or the Princess of Wales, that somehow they got called racists in a manuscript you claim you didn't actually draft that way. That's frustrating, isn't it? When the entire world is encouraged to think that you were named as racists. A little bit more frustrating than you not being able to work out why a draft of your own book appeared in the Netherlands and was translated from a copy that had the names on it that was sent to them apparently by your agent. How did your agent get that if you didn't write it? Does your agent write your book, Omid? Well, the Times has reported, like I said, but earlier version of the book did contain the names and it was sent to the Dutch publisher. Harry and Meghan have stood by in stunning silence. So unlike them, isn't it? When private conversations of the kind that Meghan had with Charles in private letters uh, began to circulate in this book as well, containing the names of the two people that she and Harry claim were racially insensitive about the potential skin colour of their baby. Now, these two can't normally wait to set the record straight to sue, to go to court, to hold people to proper account for invasion of private correspondence or conversations. Why aren't they doing it now? They claim that they had nothing to do with Omar Scobie's new book. But you might remember Meghan claiming that about his last book. And then a strange thing happened. She was suing a newspaper, ironically, for invading her privacy over private correspondence rather similar to the situation we find ourselves in here. And when it came to the court case, after the book had been published that she had nothing to do with, she was forced to apologise, because it turned out that not only had she had something to do with it, she'd given briefing notes to her aide to go to a meeting with Omar Scobie and brief him for the book. So she was a primary source for that book. So I don't know what you make of the silence from the Sussexes. We're into nearly week two now of a deafening, damning silence. Weird, right? Well, the question of whether they should keep their titles, in my view, comes down to this. And it's that if you're going to spark a race row, if you're going to accuse two senior members of our royal family of being racists, and if you're going to then deliberately not say the names for two years, so the whole world speculates over which member of this white supremacist family was racist, tarring them all with the brush. If you're going to do that, and then calmly, as Harry did at the start of this year, suddenly go, oh, we didn't mean to say they were racist. No, 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 this was unconscious bias. That thing where someone isn't racist, but someone says they were thinking it. It was that. But we all know what we heard on Oprah. And in my view, they made their racial charge bed, and they now should lie in it. And you can't accuse the king of this country or the wife of our future king of this country of being racist and, in my opinion, 
keep the royal titles that you've been so cynically fleecing for the last four years? Or maybe you can. Let's have a debate about this. Journalist Rachel Johnson, a Talk TV contributor Paula Rowan Adrian, associate editor at The Mirror, Kevin Maguire, and the author and historian Sir Anthony Selden. So a, a fantastically high-powered <laughs> panel tonight. Sir Anthony, let me start with you. Purely kind of constitutionally, historically, is it even possible to wrestle the titles away from them? Well, I, I'm sure it is, Piers. The question is, is it all worth it? And is it going to be what they want because it just makes them more out to be victims of these uh, hateful, exploitative people in Buckingham Palace? Wouldn't it just be better uh, just to, to, to let them... Uh, be forgotten and not to react, because by reacting, by doing this, the Bob Seeley idea, uh, I think it just makes them into victims, gives them even more publicity. There they are over uh, all the world's headlines again as people, there must be some truth, surely, in what they're uh, both saying. And I, I think that that is not the right way to handle it. They're both clearly two very, very damaged people. Uh, they need help. I don't think they need stripping their royal titles. See, I would question that. I would say they're very damaging people. Uh, I'm not saying they haven't been through damage. They're that too, Piers. But I think, they're very, I think they've set out to be deliberately damaging to the royal family and the monarchy. They've taken hundreds of millions of dollars to do it. It's almost, it is unprecedented in history for two <laughs> renegade royals to go off and enrich themselves making money out of targeting it, the royal family, isn't it? We've never seen this before. It's not almost unprecedented, Piers. It is unprecedented for two members of the royal family deliberately to set out to hurt, harm, belittle, besmirch the, the, the monarch uh, and the wife of the heir to the throne. That's unprecedented. Uh, of course it's damaging, but of course the damaging action comes out of damaged people. The question is, I think, just what's the best way to do it? And I think uh, myself, the best way to deal with it is not to give them the oxygen of even more entitlement to the claim of being victims. OK, Rachel Johnson, your view. Well, Sir, Sir Anthony, as ever, as an eminent historian, has uh, put the argument for killing with kindness. Mm. And don't don't give the grifters any more grist to but the, the milk. But the grifters make most of their money because of course they have they royal do. titles. Of course, the they American do. business model collapses if they're just plain well, Harry and Meghan. It? Not does immediately, it? but does it would it? over time if they does can't it? slap all over all their correspondence. The but let, that they're just... the Duke and Duchess. Well, it no, disappears. Possibly that remains to be seen. We do not know that. It could definitely give them another leg on their you know grievance tour. Um, I want to know, I mean, Bob Seeley, who is the liege man of life and limb, mm. who's, you know, withdrawn the flaming scabbard to defend the monarchy, and he's he's inserted this bill, this private member's mm. bill, which is called something like the Disinheritance of Titles Bill 1917. It must be yeah. on notes. Yeah. So my question and it's is... Been, just to be clear, it's been used before yeah, to remove the titles of His Royal German. Highness Charles Edward, Duke of Albany, Earl of Clarence, Baron Arklow, His Royal uh, Highness Ernest Augustus, the Duke of Cumberland, and Teviot Dale, and Earl of Armagh, and so on. This has been used a lot. But wasn't it mainly used to strip Germans of their titles in 1917. But the curious irony is, if you took the title Duke of Sussex away from Prince Harry, mm. he'd be Harry Mountbatten, which is a German surname. Mm. Anyway, so I'm sure he wouldn't like it. I think, the, OK, so the question is, who has the right to strip these royals of their titles? Is it the House of Commons or is it the Queen? If she took away Princess Diana's HRH, mm. which caused Princess Diana... Which I campaigned huge, for her not to do, by the huge way. Huge upset mirror. and hurt. That was a, a terrible wound yeah. for Princess Diana. This, this would no doubt be a terrible wound for Harry and Meghan because the royals, their titles, is who they are. You know, my difference, the difference about Diana was she never attacked the monarchy. She had her issues with her ex-husband. Yeah. But I'd, I campaigned at the Mirror to stop her HRH being taken away because I knew how much it hurt because yeah. she told me. And because it was only taken away because she was deemed to no longer be married to Charles, right? But she didn't attack the monarchy. And here's the difference between what Diana used to do and what these two are doing. It's their deliberate diminishing and a relentless attacks on the family and the monarchy that I really find offensive now. And I don't understand why, if you're going to attack 
the institution this much and you hate the family this much, why would you want to A, stay a member of that family or B, keep titles bestowed on you by the monarchy and the family? I, I appreciate that you find it personally offensive, Piers, but shall I tell you what I find concerning? That in this discussion about racism, we know that the institution has issues. We know that in 2021, we were supposed to see the appointment of a diversity czar. And I'm still waiting for that appointment. What is a diversity we, czar? Well, we can, discuss, we can discuss that another day. Let, well, let me finish. Title, well, isn't Piers, it? this is important. This is important. The royal family employ a lot more non white people. Want to, you than don't they... want to hear it, Piers, well, do you? They you use, don't want they to hear. It's a fact that they employ a lot more non white people than they used to. Right? It's also right. a fact they remain Piers, exclusively white other this. than the Meghan Markle part of it because they're all a you white Piers, family. Piers, don't shut me down on this point because. This is important for you, us You're to distracting away from the alleged racism in this story. Trevor I'm, Phillips. I'm Trevor Phillips, who ran the, the Do big... Do you see what's happening here? No, no, I'm asking you a question about this particular topic. I haven't finished answering your first Didn't question. You're talking about other things. I'm not talking about other things. I'm talking about exactly what you're referencing, the allegation of racism, and why it's important for, the, for society as a whole, for, for us to see that the institution is dealing with this. And I'm saying to you... Where is the diversity? What are racism? That we were. What we, racism? Where is the diversity? Are that we were told was going to be appointed in twenty twenty one. We were told that this was such an important thing and that it was going to happen. Where's the racism? Because Paula? of the concerns. Paula. Because Where is the of racism? Because the concerns that Meghan had. Yeah, That's what was reported. What concerns? Secondly... She didn't even hear also, it. We've also she didn't had even hear it. And reports. by the way, she thought it happened when she was pregnant. Harry said it happened before they got engaged. Shouting Which me one down is, is not going no, to change the nonsense. fact that I'm concerned. So we also have reports, don't we, about issues in relation to how the institution approaches the concerns about, about racism. So what we've racism? Had, we've had unfortunate Paula, stories... what racism? ..where I accept there was an apology... What but it racism? Left a concern, didn't it, when, for example, Princess Michael attended the dinner wearing no, no, her, her, her Charles brooch and Kate. that caused upset. Do you upset. honestly believe we, we that know, Charles we and know Kate about were racist issue, about that baby's We know about colour. the issue in relation Why to how Lady, Hus Lady Hussey and, and how that was dealt with. Right. And what I'm saying to you is, is that there are concerns that have been raised. And it oh, seems, we know about the concerns we, that were raised. To be what I haven't seen is any evidence. We want to deflect those concerns no, by deflecting. pouring hatred on Harren and Meghan. No, no, they're That's the ones... That's what this no, no. is about. They're this poor... is about Sorry. hatred of Harry How and Meghan. How could you pour more hatred over people than these two who, for four years, have poured hatred on their family and the monarchy and who did it by sparking a racism row on Oprah Winfrey in front of 50 million people where they made allegations of racism and then tried to pretend they hadn't. They've never produced any evidence. I mean, Kevin, this is my, my issue with this whole thing, and it does incense me that we are trying to deal with a story which, at the heart of it, I don't think there's even a story. I don't think this ever happened. As Trevor Phillips said, at worst, what we may be dealing with is that someone in the royal family, Charles, Kate, whoever, may have said, I wonder what, what colour the baby might be. That's not racism. No. When you have a mixed-race relationship, it's yeah. what every mixed-race relationship family would ask Why themselves. Why do we keep leaving yeah. out the word concerns? I, Why yeah. do we keep leaving that word out? I, I, because I, what are the concerns? I, I read Trevor Phillips' account, of course, he's a black Briton who's long campaigned against, 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 against racism. There are problems with the institution. But Meghan Markle's evidence wouldn't stand up in court because it was hearsay. It's racism, something she said. Racism it's, allegations it's, it's, often don't. No, 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 but it's hearsay. She hasn't heard it directly. But of course they should be stripped of those titles. And I think Harry's grandmother, the Queen, made a mistake not taking them away. I think his father, Charles, now the King, has made a mistake not taking them away. They said they wanted to start a new life. Yeah. But that new life actually requires them to have those titles Correct. because their meal ticket is trashing the royal family. I'm intrigued now, that look, the she, failure, she is from the a, failure she, wasn't in, in she, about talking. She, the failure she, wasn't in about resolving the problem. What I love is, is she is, she you is, still the believe failure. there was racism. Th that, when even no, Trevor Phillips said very, it's no, obviously no, not... She's, 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 she's very a, careful. She, I have never said that I could believe it because I don't know. So we need to be very careful. You don't think it should be incumbent on those who made the allegations to actually say what happened? Um, Why are they silent in the last week? I, I think like, what's intriguing is is that you have asked them to be silent for so long and now you are demanding that they speak. If they do I'm speak, demanding if that they, they clarify speak, why, their, why their author, the, the boy answer. they cooperated with on the last book, Piers, why he's he able to name Harry's father right, and his sister-in-law 
as two racists and they say nothing. They say nothing. Do you think that if you continue to shout me down... I think you've got to answer some questions if you, if, for them. At some stage, <laughs> if you, you have allowed to... allowed me to... You literally are behaving like a politician. <laughs> if you allowed anyway, me to. If you can... If you allowed me to. The fact is, should they respond to this? Absolutely they should respond to this. Should King Charles and, and Kate have an opportunity to respond to it? Absolutely. Do you know what I would like to see in terms of a response? I would like to be, see a joint response. I would like them to come together... I'll do ..and a send favor. out never a happen. joint response. They don't talk to each other. Well, then... You know they why? need to find because somebody who call does. The a bunch of then racists. they need to find somebody who does because this isn't unusual, Piers. The yeah. fact that this is a fallout right. in Megan, a family is look, not unusual. Me Megan Mark, Megan Mark, yes, it's can racial. Make one point? Kevin wants them to be stripped of their titles. Uh, Bob Seeley wants them to be stripped of their titles. I want them to be stripped. You of their do. Titles. The fact remains that you could strip them of the title Duke mm. and Duchess of Sussex, but you cannot remove the fact that he is a prince of the blood. You can stop he calling is the him son a prince. Of the you can stop calling him a title. I don't think you can. I think.